The day before yesterday, the temperature here in Dallas was in the 70s. It was beautiful, but it's been dropping ever since. Now we're in an ice storm, and they say some point today it's going to be colder than it's ever been in the entire time that I've ever lived here. All the schools are shut down, and some of the freeways are impassable, and they say tomorrow's going to get even worse. Amusingly, 12 degrees Fahrenheit is negative 12 Celsius, which of course sounds even colder. I wonder if it would seem any warmer if I did all my temperature conversions to Kelvin. I think we ought to do that anyway. What do we need another scale for? When I complained about our weather last year, I got all these emails from Icelanders, Norsk, Scots, Swedes, Danes, Finns, Tukwer and Hosers, Yerusiskeyadrus, yeah. All making fun of me because y'all know what it means to be cold, don't you? I'll remember that in July when I'm riding from Phoenix to Vegas at 320 Kelvin. In the meantime, South Florida is obviously a lot warmer than North Texas, and I'm honored to announce that I have again been invited back to Fort Lauderdale to give another presentation to Broward College for their annual observance of Darwin Day. The event will include displays, lots of kids' activities, food, prizes, and presentations by several outstanding speakers. Uh, we're going to try to get Craps with Bears down again, and we're going to have the Rogue Moon down again. Puka, he's way too famous. We have Professor Kevin Folta, Ph.D., cellular botanist and a fellow activist in the public promotion of science, and he'll explain evolutionary evidence unveiled in the genome of plants. There will be animals there, too, brought from the Sawgrass Nature Center and Wildlife Hospital. Lunch and snacks will be provided by the Broward College Science Club. Other sponsors include the Center for Inquiry, Florida Atheists and Secular Humanists, and the Coalition for the Advancement of Science Education. Admission is free, but a $10 donation will be requested for those who stay for the reception. You can go to this address for a more detailed summary of the event, or you can call 954 954- Three four five one one eight one. That, of course, is only if you intend to be in Fort Lauderdale on that weekend. Otherwise, there are many other Darwin Day celebrations being organized around the world. Look up one in your area. So, Darwin Day, Broward, 2011, February 12th. If I don't see you there, you won't see me here.